Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick from Fit Futures here with yet another answer to yet another question. Today's question comes from Craig in Auckland and it is simply, Nick, what can I do to encourage my family members to train? They don't believe they have the time to do so. Well, this is interesting and there's a lot of people out there that experience these difficulties. Once you begin training and adopting a positive, healthy lifestyle yourself, you want to impart what you know about things onto your loved ones, especially if you're a student with us, we find that you start learning about the training content, you start trialing it out for yourself if there's things in there that you haven't done before, and then you start encouraging your friends and family to do so. Now, they do not always act receptive to the ideas behind changing their diet, manipulating things in that respect, and then of course exercising. If they're not that way inclined, it will be a challenge. Now I've actually had quite a few students ask me this recently with respect to certain family members. Now I had an older student ask me a wee while ago what he could do with his older brother. He said his older brother was overweight, he was sort of bordering on diabetes, they had a family history of heart disease and strokes and so he was concerned in himself that he might experience those things. So he started to work out a lot, he used to play rugby when he was younger, he had always lived a fairly active lifestyle and then he just continued that into his 40s and 50s. He wanted the same for his brother who unfortunately had gone the other way. After his rugby playing days were over, he sat around a lot, he was working at a desk and all these things then snowballed to the point that he was no longer working out and his diet was a little bit all over the show so to speak. He was eating a lot of fast foods, he was eating a lot of processed meats, all that kind of stuff. And what I suggested to this guy was, well just take him out with you. And he said, well, what do you mean? He doesn't want to go to the gym. And I said, well, that's okay. Nobody says that you have to go to a gym in order to be physically active. So what this particular student did is he started to go on nature walks with his older brother. And because they had a love of rugby, what I suggested they did is while they were walking side by side, they'd just toss a rugby ball to each other. Okay, and just talk and just yarn. Okay, and what um, I believe that would do was take away the thought that oh crap, I'm actually walking around here, I'm actually being physically active and I don't like it. By yarning and tossing the rugby ball around, he was just going for a walk with his brother throwing a rugby ball around, okay, which was perfect. That might be something you might be able to do yourself, Craig. Take your family out, maybe go to the park, the good weather's obviously around now with it being summer, go to the beach, take the dog for a walk if you have one. Maybe set up the old backyard cricket set and swing, swing the old bat around as well. It doesn't have to be gym based. You don't have to squat, you don't have to deadlift, you don't have to bench press, you don't have to go and run marathon distances. As long as you are physically active and you then build upon that over time, it will have a positive effect on the general health and well-being of your family members. Another way that you might be able to approach it is with baby steps and respects to time. Again, you don't have to be in a gym and it doesn't have to be one to two to three hours worth of training and it doesn't have to be multiple times a week necessarily. You may look to do it twice a week and you may be looking at half an hour initially and, and try to build upon that. But that half hour doesn't have to be in one go. What we do with a lot of type 2 diabetics is that half hour is broken up into three lots of 10 minutes. Some other practical suggestions, park a little bit further away from work and walk to the office. Maybe even go out and do some Christmas shopping. Walking around the mall for an hour or two can have a positive effect as well and get the steps up. So Craig, those are just a few suggestions, a few ideas for you to try with your friends and family. Remember, take the softly, softly approach, introduce things gradually, and over time, who knows, they may fall in love with it and it may grow into something that they uh, look to include for the years to come. So guys, if you like that question and the answer to it, there's plenty more where that came from. Click the link and watch our previous videos and keep an eye out for future content. And until next time, guys, keep safe.